So perhaps you've been on YouTube and you come across a suggested video. And that's how I kind of found this YouTube channel. Right off the bat, I look kind of at a channel and just see what it's about. And so it's the Church of the Almighty God. And I saw this when you get to the YouTube page, you see people dressed in blue, white, red. And I was thinking, okay, this looks a little bit strange, you know, um, but let's see what it's about. So I go to the about page and this is what I read next. And it says the church of almighty God was created because of the appearance and work of the almighty God, the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ of the last days. So, so far, but then you go to the next sentence and it says, it was entirely founded by Almighty God personally and was definitely not created by man, any man. So then my kind of alarm went off further because basically they're saying, okay, this this church is by God and definitely not by man. So then I'm like, okay, I'm just going to you know keep reading. Nowadays, the various gospel movies, readings of God's words, dance and song videos and it just goes on music videos hymns um have been spread all over the internet and i guess they have been so then i thought okay it's kind of like the videos i did before where it talks about musicals and like movies and stuff and i was saying like how with all this it's almost like and with crew too, that organ, if you go to my channel, I'm not going to go now, but you can check out the video I did on crew and check out that. But, you know, music videos and movies and it says various gospel movies. Um, the gospel is preached by the word of God. Now, I do believe, you know, God can use um, like to spread his gospel through YouTube videos or, you know, a Christian movie. And I'm all for hymns and stuff like that. But if you go back to this channel, I mean, you first come across it. And what videos do you see? Um, I remember it's like a lot of some dancing stuff like this, a dance off or something it looks like. And I'm just thinking, well, you know, what, what exactly is that? So I clicked on that, this one right here, and I got it up here somewhere. It should be a YouTube link, actually, but I might have to click on it. So sometimes, again, I'll see, you know, someone says, OK, where's well, where's this channel going? And so then I click on some of the videos next and I didn't watch more than a few seconds. But let's see what's let's see here. So I want to see what this dance off was about. And then right away, this is as far as I got. Um, it says, it is greatly arduous for God to carry out his work. Now, I don't know the exact definition of arduous, but, you know, basically we can look it up here. Um, I don't know if it's going to be in this dictionary or not, but you'll see where I'm going with this. So that's as far as I got in that video. And so right off the bat, you'll see that what they're saying is actually going against the scripture. You see... If you don't compare what someone's saying, in this case, someone that says that they're the true church of God and they're spreading supposedly the gospel, you got to see if that's actually true. So first off, the first video I clicked on, I'm going to show you um, the problem here. So we go to, let's see if this is in the dictionary here. and. This is a sword searcher. Again, not all the books they include are going to be um, recommended, but this dictionary, uh, 1828, is pretty nice. So you see, yeah, difficult, attended with great labor, high, lofty, in a literal sense, as arduous paths. So it can mean high and lofty, but the way they're using it, um, um, I think they're using the second uh, sentence, possibly, or the definition of difficult, attended with great labor. And that's a problem because uh, nothing's too hard for the Lord, okay? Nothing's too hard for God. 
And you know, the Bible shows us this in other verses. And I mean, in uh, verses, it shows us that nothing is too hard for the Lord. Sorry about it. nothing's too hard for the Lord. I can't remember exactly uh, how it's worded here in Genesis uh, eighteen fourteen. Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. So right in Genesis, you see, is anything too hard for the Lord? No, it isn't. Um, so in other words, for them to say that it's greatly arduous for God to carry out his work is wrong. It's false teaching. It goes against the Bible. Okay. And that's as far as I made it in this. Um, I might watch it on my own time. <laughs> but, you know, there might be other. Usually if you see in an issue right off the bat, maybe a video, um, there's going to be other issues a lot of times with uh, maybe their teachings or problems like that. So next, I went back to their about page, and I see that they got a website, the Gospel of the Kingdom's Coming. And there, too, was a sign for me as far as, okay, what are they exactly talking about? Are they talking about the Gospel of the Bible, or is it something else? So we go to this, and this is a big deal because 147,000 subscribers, okay? And some of these videos don't have the, you know, huge amount of views, but some of them do. 37,000. I saw another one, 100 some thousand. It was like a movie, so they're producing movies. So for whatever reason, here again, this song, Kingdom Anthem, 150,000 views. And this is just recently. So, you know, I, I'm still going to warn about this uh, channels that they come across because I don't know. I can't assume that, you know, someone can see this and maybe, you know, they're new to the Christian faith and um, or maybe they're kind of younger on YouTube. And or maybe I've reached someone that's part of this group and um, by rebuking their false teaching and in meekness, show them that, OK, what you're part of here. It's wrong. And why is it wrong? Because the final authority has to be from God and his book, the Bible, God's word. Otherwise, what happens is, whether it be this group or a different group, if they don't follow the Bible, they're following man and false teachings. And the Bible warns, don't trust in don't trust in men, you know, don't trust in me, trust in God. And if these groups or any other groups have teachings, you compare it to what the Bible says. And if the group has teachings that are going directly against the Bible, you warn about it and say, okay, this group, this religious group is to be warned against. And hopefully that warning can reach some people in that group and try to get them out of that and tell them that, hey, um, this is serious because um, these groups are false teaching and it's a big deal because we're talking about your soul here. And, you know, there is a way that seemeth right. At, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So I, I just want to get that. I don't want to, in case I just misquote, you know, got the word just slightly off, but I, I want to see where the verse is too. So, let's see, where is that? So, Proverbs 14 12, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yep. Yeah. So, I'm using that verse because, hey, for those people that are part of this group, this church here, it's the ways of death. And why do I say that? Because you'll see um, coming up here, if we go to their website, and it says the words of the Holy Spirit in the churches in the last days. And first, you know, I noticed it says three stages of God's work. And okay, that was another. Um, we know that, um, well, there's a different one here that I want to show. But um, so let's just go, because these are the gospel books, gospel books. And, um, you know, instead of showing, um, something like Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we're seeing some writings from, again, men, or I don't know who wrote it. I think it gives an author, but 
that'd be a warning sign. Not only this page or a different religious group, if they don't use the Bible, if they're using some teaching, um, and again, it's not coming from the Bible, then you know, warning, warning, warning. And I'm going to show you what some of these books are teaching. And again, they're saying they're the true church. So that's another warning too. If someone, so if they're saying they're the only church and then they're coming out with their own books and doctrine, uh, compare it with the Bible. And if it doesn't line up to the Bible and you see in this book, um, I'll show you, it's, we're on the same website. Um, it's talking about the Bible, but then it, look at what it says at the end. Um, it's talking about the Bible and then it says the Bible has become a great obstacle to people's acceptance of God's new work and difficult to God's broadening this new work. In other words, let me just say how they're saying it. They're saying the Bible's getting in the way of what they're teaching. You know why? Because the Bible would expose what they're teaching as false. So in this book of theirs, Classic Works on the Bible, what they're saying is, don't follow the Bible, and that's wrong. And you might say, well, how are they saying that? Because if you read it actually here, they'll say that they're talking about the Bible, and, um, and then they say outside of the Bible, and then they talk about uh, some God's new work or something. Look, we have God's written word in the Bible, and that's what we have for his written word from God, and that's what we have from God. So if someone comes out and says that they have a new revelation or something new from the Lord and they write a book, that would be another warning, warning, warning to avoid that and in meekness tell people that, hey, that's wrong and it's serious again because we're talking about possibly your soul and your salvation. You see, if one of these religious groups has a different uh way of salvation that goes against the bible that's going to be a big problem because we're talking about your soul here and eternity and youtube is maybe or maybe i don't know how but this channel this um gospel of this descent of the kingdom um is getting promoted on youtube so um here you know i don't want to make this too long of a video um, I'll try to keep it under 15 minutes if I can. Uh, there's more I could talk about here. And one thing, um, I want to, the one thing I want to say here too is, um, I had it up here again. We're focusing just so you keep focus on this YouTube channel, the church of almighty God, and it's one to be warned against. And I'm hoping that this video can reach someone or, you know, too, maybe someone then sees, you know, gets encouraged and know, knows that, hey, the Bible is the word of God, and that's what you go by. And that'd be great if the Lord uh, would work through this video, and he does work, and he does great works, and um, it's the praise goes to God for, um, you know, Christians doing the work. We don't get the praise, we praise God. And I want to praise God, you know, I, I firmly believe that this video can help someone out there to see not only this YouTube channel being uh, something that needs to be warned about, but possibly other uh, religious groups or um, stuff like that, that if they don't go by the Bible, um, again, warning. And we're talking about your soul here. And one thing I wanted to point out here, um, I can't find it right here. Maybe it's somewhere here. They're claiming that uh, Christ has come back already. And it's, if you didn't know, there's going to be a, uh, called this, you know, well, Jesus Christ is coming back again. He's coming back to earth, the second coming. And this page says here that the day of the Lord's return is already here. And, you know, has the Lord returned his second coming? No, second coming is still going to happen. And then they talk about stuff like the four blood moons and some other stuff. Um, I've seen some of the writings from 1992, apparently. So this has been around for a while, this organization, um, the Almighty God, the Church of the Almighty God. And now that's on YouTube, it's being promoted. Um, you know, it's getting out on YouTube. So 
I'm just glad I can warn about this. And um, I just clicked, just another video I clicked on was here. And you're going to see what's going on here in fair use. Fair use. I'm only using a small thousands portion, of and views here. Public. So listen to what this guy says. Thousands of years here. Aren't people waiting for him to come upon a cloud? So this guy's talking about, again, Jesus Christ, the Lord, the only God. And he says that people are waiting thousands of years here, uh, waiting for him to come upon a cloud. But notice how it's a question mark. And let's play it a little more. Aren't people waiting for him to come upon a cloud? It says the Lord will return through incarnation. Then he says, it says the Lord will return through incarnation. Now, um, look, look, again, um, before I get into this video anymore, uh, anytime someone like uh, uses a question, Mark, it could be a sign like, okay, okay, there is a problem here because he says question mark. There was a question mark. Aren't people, you know, basically saying he's going to return on a cloud? Well, no, the Bible says it is, okay? Um, okay, so if I, I got, I'm not going to make this video too much longer, but um, you're going to see here uh, in Luke, we can go to uh, Luke here and Luke chapter 21, verse 27. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Amen. I can't wait. <laughs> so they're talking about Jesus Christ coming back again coming in a cloud so there's no question there's no question here jesus christ is coming back and it says and then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory and there's other verses here too here revelation 14 14 and i looked and behold a white cloud and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. So these are cross references, but um, uh, one that I actually want to give you is Matthew chapter 24, verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And again in Luke chapter 21, verse 27, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. So it's so clear that Jesus Christ is coming back. And he's coming back and it says to in a cloud with power and great glory. So, you know, I might watch some of this more in my own time. Maybe they got a, they got a movie out, but um, just best to avoid this um, group and you know my prayer and hope is that through this video you know people can be warned about not only this YouTube channel called the Church of Almighty God but also their website uh, the gospel of the descent of the kingdom and the, actually their websites the Holy Spirit speaks.org and I don't even know how many people are going to this website it could be thousands it could be hundreds of thousands it could be even maybe millions I don't know their YouTube page is pretty big so, um, you know, if you feel led, share this video and um, you never know how God's going to use something. So let's just pray that, you know, for these people that are in this um, false organization that's teaching falsely. And let's just hope that they repent and get out of it and turn to Christ and follow the words of Christ and um Let's just pray for that and um, us too. Let's examine ourselves and see how we're doing. And with the warning about this, again, it's very ser serious. If a, if a group or organization is going against the Bible and if they're you know, teaching something that's going against the plan of salvation that God has, it's very serious and needs to be warned against. And um, the words of God are going to be found in the Bible, not in some new revelation that someone claims that they have gotten and if they write a book or something like that. No, that's wrong. God's word 
is in the Bible. So this has been a video, another warning. This one against the Church of the Mighty God on YouTube. Again, their website is the called the Holy Speaks.org. So just a warning there, and you know, um, thanks for watching.